let me hear you. Turn to him clean. Oh, everybody ought to hold to his hand. Oh, God's son changing. Oh, you ought to hold to his hand. Oh, God's son changing. And when your journey is completed, I feel all right this morning. Oh, if to God you have been true. Oh. So they decide to activate themselves. And so we found ourselves dealing with a case that may have been dormant. We found ourselves dealing in a city that, that acts dormant, that wants to think a generation of people are going to let our voting rights be stripped away from us and allow us to be quiet. They, they think we're dormant. They think we're dormant as well as they can allow a Paula Dean to call us Negroes and niggas and dress us up. They think we're dormant. They think we're dormant. They think we're dormant where a uh, uh, Hispanic male can go on trial all week uh, for killing a black male and sit in a court with no remorse. They think we're dormant. They, they think we're dormant by acting as if sleep and we got state representatives uh, who won't say anything about yeah. Kendrick Johnson. They, they right. think we're dormant. They, yeah. they think we're dormant with clergy yeah. who will ask their parishioners to not say anything. They, they think we're dormant. They, they think we're dormant. But I came to let you know today that time is up and 17 years has been passed. And because Kendrick Johnson is 17 and when he passed away, we are, I believe it is by God's divine providence that he is waking up a new generation of magic haters. Uh, he's waking up One thing I love about these magicators is that they have such a loud voice. But the difference is, each one has their own specific call. When they go, when all these calls come together, when we decide to join hands with our brothers from Quitman and our brothers from Atlanta and Valdosta, when we all come together, the sound gets loud. And, and one thing I enjoy about the magicators, it doesn't matter where you go, when Dixie, Publix, Kroger, you can't find a spray for magicators. You can't find a spray to kill them because they are so powerful and they're so strong that they can't kill our vibe. And so I just came to let you know today, although they want to, please don't kill our vibe. We don't stay in the corner all day long if we got to. Please don't kill our vibe. Please don't kill our vibe. We can't let the sheriff know. Please don't kill our vibe. Amen. You can't stop us. We won't stop. We can't stop. And so today, the city of Valdosta know that it may have taken 170 days, but there's good news coming around the mountain. Yeah. And we want to let you know that once this autopsy report is revealed, we are sending a letter straight to the Justice Department to let them know that you have to intervene immediately in that situation. And we want to send it with all of our signatures because magic haters have come out of dormancy. Amen. Um, yeah. Sabine King, who is the lawyer yeah. of this family. Will you welcome Mr. Sabine King yeah. and Mr. Yeah. And Mrs. Johnson? Yeah. You all are all going to come. Let's greet them. This family. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Of course, it's going to be said more than a few times that. Being here in this space, this place, this time, is very special. We don't come together enough to celebrate not only the joy, but the pain in our life. We've come together here today to say to the world that KJ will not be ignored. I'm sure are aware that two weeks ago today, the Johnsons took their son to Orlando, Florida for purposes of having a second autopsy performed. And um, though we are not in a position to tell you today what the results 
of that autopsy happened to be. I think that it goes without saying that just as they have day after day stood on that corner, rain, shine, heat, no matter how adverse the weather, no matter how insulting the signs, they persevere. So it's important that we as a part of their extended family, we too must persevere. We must remain vigilant, patient, and ever faithful that this autopsy is going to solve another piece of the puzzle. Now there is something that I'd like to read to you to, I think, speak to the moment that we are here today. Because not knowing what happened to KJ at this time is anything but satisfying. And for those of you, if you feel like I do, you might find solace in these words, words that were spoken by Dr. King. And let me just read it to you. How long will justice be crucified and truth buried? He said to a crowd much like us here today, I come to say to you this afternoon, however difficult the moment, however frustrating the hour, it will not be long, because truth crushed to earth will rise again. How long? Not long, because no lie can live forever. How long? Not long, because you shall reap what you sow. How long? Not long, because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. We are here today in the name of justice. And so we, if I can say this with a kind of confidence that maybe you could actually touch and feel, we don't have much long or longer to go. This movement now is not a just about Kendrick. It's about all of us now. Amen. We got Willie Jane Williams. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. We got Egerton. Now Kendrick. Who else? It's all those that they have given themselves a license to kill. And we ought to pray. If we do nothing, it's going to happen time and time again. I feel for the Martin family because we know what they're going through. And for their son to be slain and be just put on the face front like he was nothing. It's clear, but clearly, all the evidence shown that he was followed, uh -huh. he was ran down. Yeah. And damn! And just look how they just want to mess his name up and just act like it's all right for his death. All this has been done in Balasa, and we all just talk, talk, talk. But now it's, stand up. it's time to stand up and fight. Because if we continue to let them do this, they are going to continue to do it. And the first thing the sheriff want to tell us, oh, I can't find nothing bad 
Nobody can't won't say anything bad about it. But they sure as hell done something bad to him. And now they still trying to sweep it on the road. They just think we don't supposed to say anything. Every time Scry Jones, Chair Prime, get up and make a comment. Do you see how foolish they sound? It doesn't, you know, it just, and we as people, we just stand there and let them do it this way. I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. I, 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 how is it that we'll kill each other for stepping on one another's sneaker, but when it's time to step up, we want to shut our mouth? There it is! There it is! We want to do all these evil things to one another. But then, when someone threatening our jobs, threatening to put us in jail, yeah. We want to shut up. Yeah. There it is. We want to start saying yes or boss. Well, I mean, it's ignorant. If they, if y'all want to continue to let them do y'all that away, we sure is not hell going. We we not going to take it no more. We going to stand up. I give my life for mine. I don't know what you'll do for yours, but I'm giving my life for mine. Brother Ryan, we want to appreciate you. Uh, you put it out there. If they, anyone want to put it out right, Brother Ryan's going to do it. The news media not, not, might not put it out like Brother Ryan do, but he's going to put it out there. Who can you? And then, when this tragedy first happened, I had lawyers calling me out of woodworks. Called me and Jackie. They had lawyers who wanted to fly in. Lawyers just want to come from somewhere. Everywhere. And the first thing I asked them, you know, uh, are y'all going to help investigate or what's going on? They told me no, that we only can, uh, we only can represent you in the wrong for death. Hell, it ain't about money. I ain't saying that we ain't gonna get you now. <laughs> but it's not just about money. <laughs> and we was pushed and pushed and pushed. CB, you can't go wrong. He proved his point to us. Amen, CB! Amen! CB! Amen! He been there all this way. A lot of things that we can't say that this man done. These days, you know, the guys want to, you know, downrate these women. But I've been fighting this fight with women. Yes. All right. Every day, I've been with a crowd of women fighting this fight. Let's give them a hand. Let's give the women a hand. He, he out here somewhere. He's in there with me too. But I got to give it up to Keisha. Yeah. All right. That's Keisha right there. Keisha went with us to have our son and open Orlando. When I when I just couldn't, we got back. When I just couldn't stand the smell no more. I asked Keisha one time, Keisha, will you go check it, make sure you got his clothes on? She said, yeah, she took right off. And went and done it. Without.